Okay, so if people are learning to program for the first time, they often run into a, um, at least two problems. Uh, a problem of having to understand some concepts, some basic concepts that all programmers know, like what is a loop, and at the same time have to deal with this bizarre insistence that languages have to, that you have to get exactly the right text in the right place, so the syntax has to be exactly right. Um, and this means that the syntax gets in the way of learning the concepts, the concepts gets in the way of learning the, the syntax, um, and that, is, that slows people down. Um, there is a, um, a whole series of tools, one tool in particular that has been developed uh, over the last, I guess, 10 years to help programmers, help novice programmers um, focus on the, um, on the concepts. This is called Parsons, these are called Parsons problems. And the idea is that you provide a, a program, um, it gets randomized into a set of, set of lines, and then you drag the line from one side to the, to the other, such that you solve whatever problem it is your instructor told you to solve. Um, there's a JavaScript library that implements this for Python. Um, that ends up running Python in a JavaScript execution environment, which is sort of blew my mind a little. Um, but to to use this, you um, you have to write pretty nasty raw HTML and JavaScript to plug it all together. So what I would like to do is um, take this this library and um, take some, uh, some markdown technology and some technology steel stolen from <coughs> software carpentry to convert the markdown into HTML uh, with code markup and, and all that sort of stuff um, and uh, have a standalone way of creating a large number of these tests of these problems um, such that we can provide them to novices. Um, yeah. 